Excellence, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, members of the committee, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 473rd meeting of the Committee on Enforced Disappearances. Today we shall begin the review of the report submitted by the Kingdom of Cambodia under paragraph 1 of Article 29 of the International Convention for the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearances. It is my great pleasure to welcome His Excellency Mr. Kiyosoti, Vice President of the Cambodian Human Rights Committee and Head of the Delegation, as well as to extend a very warm welcome to the entire delegation from the Kingdom of Cambodia. Before giving the floor to the delegation, I will explain the methodology that we will follow to govern our constructive dialogue over the next couple of days. The committee registered also the urgent action number 782 in 2019 concerning the alleged enforced disappearance of Mr. Osman Karaka, a dual Mexican-Turkish national. He was arrested on 14 October 2019 by counter-terrorism police at a bank in Phnom Penh in response to a request by the Turkish authorities concerning a purported fraudulent Mexican passport. He was subjected to enforced disappearance from 14th to 18 October 2019 and was deported to Turkey on 19th October 2019 under suspicion of involvement in terrorist activities. The urgent action was closed because Mr. Osman Karaka was located. He was arrested in Istanbul uh, after being deported from Cambodia. The Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued a decision against Cambodia and Turkey in 2020, concluding that Mr. Karaka was subjected to arbitrary detention and other human rights violations under the Convention. Please, could you inform us about the steps taken and lessons learned from this case of a deportation after a short-term enforced disappearance in order to prevent such enforced disappearances in the future. Thank you. Chair. But as, I, as, as we mentioned, our position is that uh, we believe we fully comply with Article 2 uh, with the various criminal code uh, crimes within uh, various provisions within our criminal code. Um, regarding uh, the four cases that uh, Ms. Lokbilla raised, um, I'll start with uh, Mr. Munsom and Mr. Osman Karaka. As these cases are closed, um, but nevertheless, we don't consider them as enforced disappearance cases. Why? Because with regard to Mr. Karaka, I'll be brief, was that uh, there was constant communication with uh, the Turkish embassy and that they knew uh, the whereabouts of their citizens 